I ask unanimous consent to address the House and to revise and extend my remarks. Jem is recognized. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, we rise today to the honor the lives that we lost to gun violence in Aurora, Illinois earlier this month. This is unfortunately not the first time that we've mourned unnecessary loss of life from gun violence. Eleven years ago, when I first took office, I inherited a community in mourning. Seventeen, Seventeen students were injured and five were killed in the Cole Hall mass shooting at Northern Illinois University. So I spent my first weeks and months in office doing what I could to help my community recover. And now, 11 years later, on February 15th, the call went out from Aurora, Illinois. Workplace shooting at Henry Pratt. Active gunmen, officers down. And more than 200 police units from across the western suburbs of Chicago responded to contain the situation. They were running toward the sound of gunfire, as they do countless times each day in our country. Six officers were injured during that response. And in the aftermath, we learned that we lost five members of our community. Josh Pinkard, the plant manager at Henry Pratt, who, when fatally shot, sent a final text message to his wife, Tara, to say, I love you. Trevor Weiner, on his first day at work in Pratt as an intern from Northern Illinois University. Clayton Parks, Trevor's supervisor and also a graduate of NIU. Vicente Juarez, a hardworking family man who lived with his wife, daughter, and grandchildren on a quiet street in Oswego. Russell Beyer, a mold operator and union committee chairman from Machinist Local 1202, and the father of two children. Now, as we have done so many times before in Congress, I will soon ask that we pause for a moment of silence. But this time, I would ask each of you to also think of the voting card that each of us carries on the House floor and the responsibility that you carry with that card. Because this week, we will finally be voting on legislation for effective and universal background checks for all gun sales. This is legislation supported by both Republicans and Democrats in Congress and supported by 97% of the American people. So our hearts go out to the family and friends of the victims left behind. And now, I ask that we pause for a moment of silence. All members will rise for a moment of silence. And I yield back. For what purposes does the gentleman from Georgia seek recognition? is recognized for one minute.